Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. We are at the top of the hour, and my name is Sabelle Rossim. I will be your facilitator for tonight. We are at the WACAC uh, Virtual College Fair. If you didn't know what that meant, it is Western Association for College Admission Counseling Virtual College Fair. It is so awesome to have all of you here today. We're going to have a packed house, and we have some amazing institutions here to tell you a little bit more about themselves. So I'm super excited to learn and I hope you are too. Now, before we get started, uh, we do have a couple housekeeping items just to mention to you all, just so that we have the best experience possible. So you may notice that uh, you, know, you wanna ask questions and we totally encourage that and that is awesome. So please do. But the way that you will ask those questions will be down at the bottom at the Q&A. So in your Zoom screen at the bottom will be a Q&A button. You will click that and then type in your questions to the presenters at any time. Please do not wait until the end of the presentation or the end of the entire session for tonight, as we will not be having a live Q&A with your questions. So please make sure you ask them at any point in time during the entire virtual college fair. We'll be here for about 45 minutes. And uh, the representatives that are here for the institutions tonight will be sure to answer them. Also, just a, a little fun fact, it is so much easier to be able to answer your questions if you put the institution, the college or university's name within your question. So you can directly address them and we know who the question goes to. So please don't forget to do that, okay? Other than that, uh, your camera and microphone are turned off. This is a webinar style type of virtual college fair. So you are muted, your video is turned off and your panelists cannot see or hear you. And also your chat function is disabled. So again, the interaction will be through the Q&A um, button. With that said though, the representatives might put some awesome information in the chat. So please double check the chat once in a while so you can get that uh, awesome contact information or application link or whatever else they may put in that chat. Also sign up for more sessions. There are a ton of more uh, college presentations, uh, not only for this evening, but also in April and May. So in the same place you registered for this, you would register for those sessions as well. Last but not least, this uh, session is being recorded. So a recording of this will be available uh, and uh, it'll be on strivescan.com. Uh, backslash WACAC. So please make sure to go to that session uh, or to that registration link if you are interested in regi registering for more sessions. With that said, at this point in time, uh, I will turn off my video and my microphone and uh, introduce the first institution. First up, we have Mount St. Mary's University, Los Angeles. Great. Thanks so much, Sabelle. So I will go ahead and get us started by sharing my screen. Um, so as we mentioned, I'm lucky enough to be here on behalf of Mount St. Mary's University, Los Angeles, and we are a gem located obviously in the middle of LA with two really beautiful campus locations I'll get to talk about in a second. So just with a mix of our liberal arts background with our very supportive learning environment, we are very confident as an institution in our ability to prepare students for success academically, socially, professionally, whatever that may look like for you. So you'll see here some of our universal accolades, specifically our film program and nursing department are really our strongest suits as a whole. Before getting into some of our details, I think it's of the utmost importance to visit our mission statement. So you'll notice here, it is interwoven within our community to build leadership skills within our students and foster a spirit to serve others. So we believe that yes, it's very important for you to get a solid understanding of academics, professional experience, internship experience, but we want our students to be leaders in whatever field you enter. So with that being said, you'll be supported in doing that and once again, just revisiting those leadership skills and building that spirit to serve others. As a whole, we're a small private Catholic liberal arts institution. So I know that is a mouthful. So I'm also gonna throw the fact that we're a women's university in there as well. Although we are a Catholic university, students of all no faiths and spiritualities are more than welcome. We don't have any extracurricular or academic religious requirements. We have about 1,500 undergraduate students, which is smaller than a lot of your high schools most likely. What that means is you get to come join us, be a big fish in a small pond and make a true impact on the campus community. Whether that means starting your own club, taking advantage of all of our internships, research opportunities, we're really excited to watch our students shine on campus. As I mentioned, we have two campuses, both within the greater Los Angeles area, 
one located beautifully in downtown Los Angeles and the other up in the Santa Monica Hills in Brentwood, California. Here are a little bit more details about those two campuses, but I really want to reinforce that whether you want to witness that hustle and bustle of LA or you want that secluded tranquility of our Shalon campus, students are able to access resources on both. And we also have an inner campus shuttle that runs concurrently between the two campuses. So that way you can take courses on both campuses at the same time. Our most popular program on campus is nursing. We're home to the first bachelor's of nursing program in the state of California and are really confident in our background in the field in terms of clinical rotations, faculty members, and different resources. Um, but we obviously have countless academic programs for you to choose from other than that. You'll see here that our average class size is 16 students and we have a student to faculty ratio of 10 to one which once again means that you get to have that very intimate learning environment. We believe that all students should practice articulating your thoughts in class, advocating for your opinions and experiences. So with that small class size, we do a lot of discussion-based learning and we encourage our students to share your experiences with your professors, classmates, and really just dive deeper into your learning experience. That student to faculty ratio, as I'm sure a lot of my colleagues will also share, is a wonderful way to not only get support in terms of academics, but also take part in mentorship, um, different networking opportunities, things like that. So we feel that our students are able to be successful, not only because of their professional or academic experience, but also because of the relationships that they're able to form with different um, campus community members. Whether you want to stay healthy physically, mentally, you wanna take charge, start a new club, um, rely on our academic support, or once again, just be a leader on campus. We have a variety of resources that our students can rely on, some including counseling and psychological services, career development, things of that nature. We are um, especially, um, out, excuse me, we do receive specially allocated funds for our first generation students. So about two thirds of our student body do identify as first generation students. So because of that, we're able to offer additional resources, scholarships and things like that to our students who are first generation. We do have options for students to live on either of our campuses, whether you wanna live in a single, a double, a triple, a quad, um, completely based on your preference, um, you do have the option for any of those. We don't require that our students live on campus, however. So if you'd prefer to commute, um, we absolutely support you in doing so. Obviously, if you are planning to live on campus, we do ask that you enroll in one of our resident meal plans and commuter students do have the option of enrolling in those as well. But why I'm so excited to talk to you all is because as your personal counselor, I get to know you through your application. Um, so you'll see here that we use the Common App and I feel that it's a very convenient way to fill out one application and send that off to a variety of different schools. You'll see here, we require your transcripts, a letter of rec, and we do have a $50 application fee, but I'll be sure to send my email in the chat if you're not kind enough to request an application fee waiver, I can absolutely send one over. For students who apply by our early action deadline, we have a full tuition scholarship opportunity, and I am gonna say full tuition scholarship opportunity one more time. Um, so if you're interested, which I hope all of you are, I would encourage you to apply by our early action deadline, which you'll see here is December 1st. Um, so that also allows you to be eligible for our honors program and our direct to nursing option. Obviously, we continue to accept applications through January and we are offering rolling admission. So if any of you with us today are seniors, we're still accepting applications for fall of 2021. So obviously as a private university, we expect our students to make a wonderful investment in their future. However, our primary goal is to make sure education is as affordable as possible. So I will send my information in the chat. So that way, if you have any concerns about affordability, you can order or you can send those over. Thanks, Avell, kick it off. Awesome, thank you so much, Katie, really appreciate it. If you have any questions for Mount St. Mary's University, Los Angeles, please put it down in the Q&A at the bottom. Make sure to address them directly so we know who the question goes to. Next up, we have Pepperdine University in California. Awesome. Thanks so much, Saval. 
Um, do you mind restarting my video? Sorry about that. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Give me one second. Let me fix that for you. Go ahead. Awesome. Perfect. Thank you so much. Um, hi, everyone. So nice to um, almost see your faces. My name is Tiffany Marmalejo. I am a recruitment advisor for Pepperdine Grot Studio Business School. Today, I'm here with my colleague, Bree Jensen. Bree, would you like to say hello? Sure, hi everyone, so nice to meet you. I will be running the chat if you have any questions. Thanks so much, Bree. We're gonna go ahead and jump right in. I know we only have six minutes. Um, today, we mentioned we're coming from Pepperdine. We are here to talk to you specifically about the Bachelor of Science in Management program. Um, so I know most of you guys are in high school right now, um, looking to go into business schools. The most important thing when you're looking at a business school is looking at the accreditation. So we are AACSB accredited as well as WASC accredited. Now these accreditations are really important because these will make sure that your degree, wherever you get it, is recognized worldwide. So please make sure you're looking into your accreditations um, as you're researching your schools. So Pepperdine, we are a private Christian university our heart is in the main Malibu campus. This view never gets old. I don't care where you're from or what you're looking out at your window. This, this is one of the most amazing views that we are so blessed to be able to have. Um, at Pepperdine, we are made up of five different colleges. Specifically today, we're talking from the Grot Studio Business School. So this will be if you're looking to potentially transfer in um, at a later date and maybe start off in the community college route. Uh, but this will be some high level information on the bottom here. And definitely we are known for business. Overall, this Bachelor of Science in Management degree is really designed for transfer students. So if you do end up going to community college first, it's not a bad thing to do. Um, you can start there. We'll help you craft a plan with your community college and decide what classes to take. This is a great way to save money. Um, then you can transfer into our two-year bachelor completion program. This program is designed for working professionals, so you will need two years of paid work experience coming in. Um, and yes, if you are a Starbucks barista right now um, or one of our frontline workers, all of that work experience will count as well. I know a lot of our students do have family businesses. Um, so all of that will come in and we'll Will count towards your incoming work experience. Once you start the program with us, it'll be two year uh, guaranteed, <laughs> two years guaranteed to graduate. So the, then you'll be able to complete your bachelor's degree. And we also have the option to complete a master's degree in one additional year. Again, this can be fully online or even through our West LA campus. Um, in addition to not only completing your bachelor's degree in, or your master's degree in one additional year after you graduate, we do have the opportunity to not only complete that in the one year, but get a completely free MBA if you can graduate with a 3.9 GPA. Um, so lots of savings for you, especially for my students who have your five-year plan set out and you know exactly what you wanna do and where you wanna be. Um, our goal is to make sure that we get you there. So again, this is just kind of a reiterated. So we talked about once you have 60 units worth of transferable college credit, and that can be AP classes, college courses, CLEP exams. Um, once we have those 60 units, you can transfer into uh, Pepperdine, do our two-year bachelor degree, and then a one-year master's degree. So after you graduate high school, we can have you uh, on your five-year plan to a master's. Transfer requirements, again, we'll, we'll go over this with you in detail. Every school is going to be so different in terms of the application, what they're looking for, um, and what classes they require if you are going to transfer. So feel free to connect with us one-on-one. -on -one. We do one-on-one -on -one Zoom meetings. I just got off of one with an amazing uh, student who is working at, at Bank of America, and she wants to further her education. Um, so this can be a great way for you to interact with us and for us to make sure that we have a specific plan designed for you. Last but not least, we do offer transfer admission guarantee as well. Um, so this is something, regardless of the school you're looking at, there is a way to guarantee your admission. So start looking at what, what those criteria are. For us in particular, it's a 2.8 GPA, 60 units worth of transferable credit, 
as well as two years of paid work experience. So those three things will guarantee you admission to Pepperdine. This is a course curriculum. So this is what you'll be taking. We are really focused, being a private school, focused on the actual practice of business, not just the theory behind it. So in all of my classes, I'm currently in the MBA program. In all of my classes, we um, were able to go through this program and really talk about how are we consulting at the end of the day. And I know I'm coming up really quickly on time, so I'm going to briefly go through the rest of the slides. Um, we are definitely known for our global programs. The, um, the opportunity to study abroad, I highly recommend it, um, can really be amazing for you. Financing your education. I think the biggest question, I'm going to push forward a little bit further, um, is how do I do this? Private schools are so expensive. And yes, I think definitely the sticker price for schools can be really off-putting sometimes, but I definitely recommend talking to uh, your schools individually because every financial package will be different. Um, Sybil's giving me the sign that it's time to kick me out. Um, so thank you guys so much. I'll have Brie put our information in the chat in case you're interested. We'd love to connect and uh, talk a little more. All right, awesome. Thank you so much, Tiffany and Brie. If you have any questions for Pepperdine University, please put it down in the Q&A at the bottom. Next up, we have St. Mary's College of California. Amazing, can you guys see my screen? You are good to go. Awesome. Hi everyone, I'm Jenny Suniga. I'm an admissions counselor at St. Mary's. Um, so let's get right into it. So um, we are located in Moraga, California, which is roughly about 15 minutes away from Berkeley and about 25 minutes away from San Francisco. Our undergraduate population is about 2,700. So we are fairly a pretty small institution. Our academics, we are a liberal arts institution. Um, and we affiliate ourselves with the Catholic LaSallean um, approach. And we are a D1 institution. So if you're interested in, um, in that, definitely know that we are a D1 school. Um, we were ranked top six uh, regional universities in the West. And actually, you can, if you can make out of uh, the, the school here, this is essentially our campus here. Uh, and so in regards to our numbers, so students, we have 57% of our students identify as multicultural. Uh, and 35, 31% of our students um, identify as first generation students. So just to give you a rough idea of kind of what that looks like. And then 54% of our students identify as non-Catholic. So you don't necessarily have to have an association with um, a religion to come to St. Mary's. In regards to our average class size, we have a class size of 19 per class and a student professor ratio of 10 to one. So definitely um, our, our setup definitely allows for that um, special treatment and connection with your peers and faculty. So definitely if you're looking for that smaller uh, classroom size and, and that smaller feel of college, definitely that's kind of where we're at. Um, so we have um, some hallmark uh, programs such as the collegiate seminar. So at St. Mary's, we have this seminar and essentially students um, every year, every, every throughout the four years, you are essentially um, having to take the seminar and the seminar essentially is you studying uh, just different, um, it's a discussion-based course and your setup, the setup is just like how you see on this, on this uh, image itself. And you're pretty much studying all kinds of different um, uh, topics, whether it's philosophy, history, politics, arts, uh, sciences. And so essentially you're discussing all kinds of great things um, in this setup and discussion setup. And it really allows for you to um, build those critical thinking skills. So it definitely helps in that aspect. And we also do have what we call our Jan term. So that's a really cool uh, program that St. Mary's offers to students. So we're on a 414 setup. So you take four classes in spring, uh, one class in, um, in January term, and then uh, four classes in fall. So for, Jan for the January term, you're essentially able to study abroad for that whole month. 
um, and you can take uh, courses outside of your program, or you could also uh, get involved in your community or also um, take any course that's outside of your program. Uh, and so it's a way for students to kind of navigate into different um, avenues that are not part of your specific academic program. So it's a really cool way to, uh, for a month, uh, dive into something different. So definitely check that out if you're interested in, in diving into that. And we have 40 plus academic majors and minors. So students are able to definitely tap into different avenues in regards to if you want a double major minor, um, definitely that's something that you're able to do at St. Mary's only because we don't have impacted majors. So students are able to essentially um, be able to graduate within those four years. So that's something that a lot of students love to hear. Um, and so you're able to kind of tap into different areas of programs. So definitely know that we have all these different options. The most common ones I would say is like the environmental sciences, uh, performing arts, the business, and the STEM majors. So definitely know that these are some of the options you have as a student. We also do have um, uh, faculty advisors and success coaches, and those are two different um, uh, two different support systems. So you have faculty that help you with your academics, and then you have success coaches that help you with all kinds of other things that are not academic related. So they essentially are kind of like a life coach, but for college. So we definitely have that in place for students to, uh, to kind of help you through your whole college experience here at St. Mary's. So definitely know that we have all kinds of different services to make it easy for you while you're going through college. Um, and we're huge in community. Um, so uh, you are guaranteed on campus housing for two years. In your first year, you are required to live on campus. Um, and we have about 60 plus student run organizations that you're able to be a part of. Um, and we also do have 100 and plus student jobs for you as a student. So definitely tap into those options. Um, and we have um, our community builds more than 70 uh, 70,000 hours in community service because we're huge in community service. So if you're um, into that and giving back to the community, we're huge on that. So that's a sense of kind of what St. Mary's is all about. So definitely know that we are, we tap into all kinds of different areas. And lastly, um, just wanted to let you know that um, we do for, for, for students and freshmen, incoming freshmen, we do have two different uh, applications. So you can go through the Common App or you can go through our website and we have a specific website for that. Um, and these are our deadlines. So I'll definitely plug in my contact info in the chat if you guys have any other questions. Thank you. Awesome, thank you so much, Jenny. If you have any questions for St. Mary's College of California, please put it down in the Q&A at the bottom. Next up, we have University of San Diego. Thank you. And let me go ahead and share my screen. I hope everyone could see it. My name is Michelle Padilla and I work at the undergrad admissions office at the University of San Diego. And I'll try my best today for you all to envision your horizon at USD. So one of our proudest statistics that we have at USD is that we are actually ranked number six most beautiful campus in the nation. So it's something that we're really proud of. You can see this picture. Um, we have a beautiful surroundings, beautiful horizon. And one of the reasons why we're, we really take beauty into um, important, it's really important for us is because our co-founder, Mother Rosalie Hill, that was her vision to have a beautiful campus that will attract students to come to campus and of course study. And USD being a private Catholic institution, a lot of times people think that we're a really small campus. We're actually a mid-range institution with 5,919 students. We have st students coming from all over the nation, 48% um, coming from out of state. We're only missing two states, South Dakota and Delaware. So if you guys know anybody from those two states, tell them to apply to USD. We also have 9% of our students are international, 38% identify as students of color. And another question that I get all the time is, do you have to be Catholic to attend USD? You don't have to be Catholic. 40% of our students identify as Catholic, leaving 60% identify is either with no faith background or a different faith background. We do require students to take two religion courses um, through your liberal arts curriculum that we have. But those two religion courses, you could pick what you want to choose, what, what you want to take. So I went to USD when I went, I chose to take 
world religions and I took a course in Islam and it was actually one of my two favorite classes at USD. So like I just said, we are a liberal arts institution. Um, when you're applying to USD, you actually don't apply with the major. Everybody comes in as undecided. You have into your second semester of sophomore year to declare your major. So that gives you about a year and a half to decide what you want to study. We have 42 majors. I will go ahead and put a link um, right now after the presentation so you can see all the majors. Our average class size is 22 students in average. Um, and we're also top 100 uni universities in the nation as you can see down here. Um, and then we are located in San Diego, California, which is a num ranks number eight biggest city in the nation. We are 30 minutes away from the Mexican border from Tijuana, Mexico. We are 10 minutes away from the beach, 10 minutes away from a hike if you like. Go um, so we're really centrally located in San Diego. We have clubs and organizations. Um, we are a division one athletic school. This is Diego de Torero. He is our mascot. Over 75% of our students are involved in clubs and inter intramural sports. So that tells you how much students are involved, involved on campus. And then we have over 30 cultural organizations, which is, um, they could range from like the Mariachi Club, Filipino Club, and we do have fraternity and sororities. 27% of our students are involved in those. Going back to being 30 minutes away from um, Mexico, we are a change maker campus. We are one of the 45 institutions in the world with this title. And this is something that we're really proud of. What this means is that we're committed to social justice, social innovation, entrepreneurship, sustainability, and global perspective. We really take this global perspective really serious. Um, we are ranked number five in study abroad participation. Mo most of our students study abroad second semester of their sophomore year or first semester of their junior year. We have over 80 programs in 30 different countries. If you're interested in studying um, business, we have a double degree program, which means you would do half of your studies at USD. And then um, the last two years you would do in one of our partner universities that are located, we have five. Um, one is located in the UK and Spain and Mexico and Ireland and in Greece. So that's something that's really cool for our business majors. And then we also have USD Madrid Center, which is literally University of San Diego in Madrid, Spain. So for those students who are feeling a little intimidated um, in going abroad, this is a great opportunity because all your professors are USD professors, your classmates will be USD students, but you're in Madrid. Um, and this is something I really recommend for all students to study abroad. It's a wonderful experience. And then to talk a little bit about logistics, our application deadline is always December 15. It always stays the same. A little bit of the stats of last year, we had a little bit over 13,000 students applying, 57% of them were accepted. And then we had around 1,013 students entering as first year students. Like my other colleagues, um, we are part of the common application. So we try to make it as easier to students as possible. If you do apply to USD, you will have that extra USD member questions. To give you an example, what the mem member questions will be, they will ask you, for example, what makes you a change maker? So what I was just talking about here, you could talk about global perspective, social justice, or why do you want to attend a Roman Catholic institution if you have a really st strong faith background? Um, and then your personal essay, and then we also require your official high school transcripts, one academic letter recommendation, so it has to come from a high school teacher or a counselor, but you're also welcome to submit more than one, maybe from a mentor or a church, or, um, a church member. And um, let me just give you my information and I'll go ahead and put it on the chat in just a second. Thank you so much. Awesome. Thank you so, so much. Really appreciate it. If you have any questions for University of San Diego, please put it down in the Q&A at the bottom. Next up, we have Holy Names University. Thank you very much, Sybil. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and share my PowerPoint real quick. Cool. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. So hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Gabriel Cheng. I am an enrollment counselor here at Holy Names University. 
a little bit about Holy Mix. We are a very small private Catholic university in Oakland, California. Um, some of the most beautiful things about our campus and our location is our easy access to freeways and highways and our easy access to all the surrounding areas around us as well. We're about 25 minutes across the Bay Bridge, so east of San Francisco, about 15 and 20 minutes south of Berkeley. And uh, within the Bay Area and itself, you have numerous amounts of public transportation and um, of different types of diverse restaurants within Oakland as well. Um, my favorite parts is all of the different regional parks within our areas too. So if you're looking for that city feel, but you still want to be that outdoorsy um, active person as well, we have numerous hiking trails on campus also. Here's a little statistics, uh, statistical background on our school. We are a very small university, so we only have about 1,014 students currently enrolled in our school. Being that we're a small school, you're going to see an average student to faculty ratio of about eight to one um, eight students to one faculty member. So like my colleagues just mentioned, you'll have an amazing amount of one-to-one -one attention provided with you. So if currently um, at your current school, if you enjoy being able to get to know your teachers and your staff members, and you wanna stay in that small environment, please feel free to look us up and do some research on us as well, as our average classroom sizes are currently at 15 students per class. Um, if you're also looking for that small school where you can get that intimate feel, but you want to have a diverse population that experience as well, we are actually ranked within the top 10 most ethnically diverse campuses within the um, US News and World Report as well within the Western region. Currently, because we're so small and, and all the resources we have for our students, we also do not have any impacted majors. Students, if you are interested in living on campus, you may. We do not require students to live on campus unless, they, unless your primary residence is 25 miles away from campus, um, away from our campus. And the reason why we do that is just so we can cut down on your commute times. We have a list of uh, available rooms here in four dorm halls for our students. Within our housing costs, our meal plans are already included for our residents and commuters are more than welcome to sign up for our meal plans as well. Here are a list of all of our academic programs. Students, if I had any um, recommendations right now, please feel free to take a quick screenshot of this list. Uh, if I were to tell you the, most, uh, the top five most popular majors on campus, it would be nursing, biological sciences, kinesiology, business, and education. We also just released an ethnic studies major as well as our computer science um, minor as well. For all students interested in, chiro in um, becoming a chiropractor, we actually just signed a contract and are now working with Life Chiropractic West. So we can help students get into that doctorate program early as well. All, here's a list of some of our clubs and organizations that our students are able to go. Just to let you know, all of our clubs are student founded student led and our students run about 70% of all the events that happen on campus. We really want our students to feel empowered to be able to create things, to be able to help us give back to the community, which is why we're a huge school that, that has a huge forefront in social justice and civic engagement. We really want our students to know that you can get your education, but you can always give back to the community as well. If you are looking for sports, we are an NCAA division two school. Currently, we play within the PacWest Conference. Here's a list of all of the sports we have available. If I had any recommendations for students, it would be to please, if you um, because due to shelter in place, if you have a highlight tape or any type of video uh, that can show the coaches your talents, you can go onto our website, which I will link in the chat after this, hnuhawks.com. Um, and there will be a recruit me form that you can sign that will go directly to the admissions office. So myself, as well as the coach directly as well too. Um, at the end of when I'm talking, I'll also drop my email so you can also send me those videos as well too so I can get you in contact with our coaches as well. If this all sounds interesting and you wanna learn more and you wanna end up applying, here are very easy ways to apply. Similar to like my colleagues as well, we are on the common application as well as you can apply on our HNU website, hnu.edu slash apply. And just like our professor there said, our applications are always free. Common app or on our or on our website. You do not need to pay for your applications. The only requirements we have for students are just your transcripts. So you do not need to submit any test scores, any personal statements, or any letters of recommendation. All three of those items are completely optional. We do run a rolling admissions process. So students, please feel free to apply throughout the year. However, we do have priority deadlines for students that wanna get ahead of the game and get that early action decision within them as well too. We have great financial aid scholarships. Um, our first one listed there is our merit scholarship amount. 
currently for this year. And like my other uh, colleagues mentioned, private schools do have that, that scary factor for some students, being that we are more expensive in the forefront. However, with our scholarships, we are give amazing competitive financial aid packages. Just for an example, that first list of scholarships, their merit scholarships, currently this year, they run anywhere from fifteen dollars to $22,000 per year. And this is very common throughout all the scholarships we provide to our students. So um, as one of my colleagues mentioned before, please, Get in touch with your admissions counselor and your enrollment counselor at that school that you're interested in and talk to us. We want to be able to teach you and make sure that you understand all of the needs and all the things that we can do to help you afford college. My biggest recommendation, students, if you plan on, sub on um, submitting a FAFSA application, please turn that in. Without that FAFSA application or without knowing if you will be submitting it or not, we actually won't be able to release your financial aid award letters as well. And finally, here is my uh, contact information. This is a very short, very sweet uh, presentation as well. So please uh, take a screenshot of this. And, and also if you're on Instagram, follow us on Instagram at HU underscore admissions. Um, we post great content as well as helpful videos to teach you about how to do things on your FAFSA, like adding schools onto your FAFSA as well. So I'm gonna pass it back to our facilitator and I'm gonna drop my information in the chat. Thank you all very much. Awesome, thank you so much, Gabe. If you have any questions for Holy Names University, please put it down in the Q&A down at the bottom. Last but certainly not least, we have Seton Hall University from New Jersey. Well, hello everyone. Thanks for joining us this evening. We're so happy to talk with you. So we're heading over to the East Coast today at the end of this um, session. And um, I'm Lisa Hansen. I'm the Assistant Director of Admissions uh, for the West Coast region for Seton Hall University. So if you're not familiar with Seton Hall University, we are located in beautiful South Orange, New Jersey, which is a nice little village located only 14 miles away from New York City. And it's only a short 30 minute commute into the city. So for our students, it's like having the best of both worlds. They can live in a nice suburban area and have New York City in their backyard with lots of access to opportunities. We are considered a mid-sized university. We are a leading Catholic university as well just over 6,000 uh, undergraduate students. And our diversity rate for that size is quite large. It's a 45% diversity rate. So we have students coming from all across the country, all 50 states and over 70 different countries. We do have 90, over 90 different programs that we offer on, at Seton Hall. Uh, some of them that are to note, our, our largest school of arts, arts and sciences, it's the oldest one, it offers majors such as computer science, criminal justice, biology, chemistry, philosophy, history, um, all those arts and sciences majors that you might imagine. Our School of Communication and Arts is very popular at Seton Hall because of our access to New York City. Our School of Education and Human Services offers degrees in elementary ed, secondary ed, and um, and special education as well. And then we also offer a direct entry nursing program for those of you looking into nursing. Our School of Diplomacy and International Relations, very popular with students on the West Coast because we have an exclusive alliance with the United Nations of America. Therefore, a lot of our students will go on to do great internships with the United Nations. With, uh, they can also work as an intern at the White House. They work with embassies domestically or abroad all of the different public service organizations like the CIA, the Secret Service, etc. We also have a wonderful School of Business. Our Stillman School of Business has been ranked number one in the country for its business leadership program for the past five years in a row. We do also have um, a mock trading room where students can learn to do trades real time. Um, they also can become Bloomberg certified to go work on Wall Street. And also we have um, an exclusive, or not an exclusive, an alliance with the um, ESPN where our students conduct various sports, uh, sports polls and those are broadcast nationwide. And then we've also got several different healthcare opportunities. And this is a reason uh, students are also drawn to Seton Hall. We offer dual degree programs or three plus three, six year total programs in physician assistant, physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech and language pathology, and um, a five-year athletic training program. And lastly, but definitely not least, our School of Law is ranked number 16 in the nation. We do offer dual degree programs in our law school as well. You can do an undergrad in business, political science, diplomacy, or social work, or sociology, sorry. 
Um, and this is just another a few of our other things we're very proud of. So Seton Hall has been ranked number four in the country for providing internships. We are ranked among the top 25 universities in the nation with the highest paid graduates. And our um, mid-career earnings for our graduates is 50% higher than the national average. Here are just a few examples of some of our students that have done some amazing internships and gone on to establish great careers with different companies. And on the right-hand side of this slide, of course, you'll see various companies where our students have worked. Another thing that is really neat about Seton Hall's location in Northern New Jersey is that we're close to a lot of pharmaceutical companies such as Pfizer, Merck, Johnson & Johnson, which have been in the headlines quite a bit. So many of our students in those areas of biochemistry or chemistry can do internships or research with those companies as well. And they can also work with the various major TV networks, ABC, CBS, um, ESPN, et cetera. For our communication and arts students, we also have our own radio station at Seton Hall, which has been highly acclaimed. We have been um, awarded uh, various awards and also have been inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Uh, we also have a TV station where students can work and uh, broadcast things such as the ball dropping in New York City, which hopefully will happen this coming year as usual, um, but they can go in there and be part of that uh, celebration as well. So lastly, we do have some new things that we'd like to talk to you about. Our Interprofessional Health Sciences campus is a campus that houses our four plus three BSMD joint degree program. So it's a seven year program for medical school. We also have all of our health profession students there studying collaboratively together. We have also a leadership institute now that gained notoriety because of the business leadership program. And um, this offers a leadership program for all of our students across all different majors. And lastly, we do have a five-year degree program for engineering. So students can get their undergraduate degree and master's degree in five years. We have a partnership with the Stevens Institute in Hoboken, New Jersey. Our students are very involved on campus at Seton Hall, over 150 different clubs and organizations with our dedication to servant leadership. Um, that is really important for us. We're also part of the Big East in the Division I athletics, um, and we have many different uh, other athletics you can get involved in. And again, we are only 14 miles from New York City, uh, so lots of fun to be had. Uh, here are our application deadlines. We are test optional for this year as well as next year. So I look forward to keeping in touch with you. If you're interested in applying, I'm going to put my information in the chat as well as the application fee waiver. Thanks so much. Awesome, thank you so much, Lisa, really appreciate it. Uh, so we do have about a minute and at this point, I'll just let, uh, we do have a question for Seton Hall down in the Q&A and if you have any other questions, please put it down in the Q&A. So I'll give you all a minute to go ahead and do that uh, while I am thanking you all so much for being here. So just give me one second to go ahead and share my screen with you all. And then uh, we'll kind of wrap up the session at this point in time. And uh, again, thank you all so much for being here. It is definitely a pleasure to, to have so many attendees and have so many awesome institutions. So with that said, again, I just wanna say thank you. We did have a question about if the session will be recorded. Uh, fun fact, yes, it was all recorded. So if you had any uh, friends, family, or anybody that missed a section of it or a presentation that they wanted to see, it will be recorded. The recording will be available at strivescan.com backslash WACAC. At this point in time, while I say thank you and goodbye, I would love our uh, presenters for tonight to turn their videos on and, and help me or join me in, uh, in bid farewell at this point in time. Once again, thank you all so much for being here at the virtual college fair. We had some amazing institutions and some, some great information as well that was given. When you close out your window, just make sure to uh, quickly answer a four question survey that will appear. Um, my attendees, it is super important that you give us your feedback. So please, please do so in that quick four question survey. Also remember, sign up for more sessions. There are more sessions tonight that are going on, but there are also more sessions that you can sign up on in that same link or that same website website you see on the bottom of your screen there uh, in April and May that will be going on through uh, WACAC's virtual college fairs through Strive, Strive Scan. I'm sorry. So please, please do so. At this point in time, again, if you have any questions, please use the contact information that was put in the chat to uh, follow up with any representatives that couldn't answer your questions uh, in the virtual college fair. And at this point in time, I would like to say thank you all again so much. 
and have a great night. Bye, everybody. Bye. Thank Bye, you. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone.